we'd save a lot of room burying people perpendicular to the ground above rather than parallel. Someone better not make me stand up for eternity or I'm coming back for them. I am picturing new tube coffins. Holes dug with an auger. Like fence posts. We could leave heads above ground and save on tombstones too. Also it would confuse zombies. They would just keep digging parallel to the surface and never make it above ground. Hell, we can save even more space if we start soylent greening people. Make room make room. Not really. If you're going to dig each grave deep enough to bury someone vertically, you could bury just as many people in the same space by digging the grave that deep and stacking them. I think so long as they face east, it aligns with most of the religions. Plus it would make the rapture easier, just like a torpedo tube. It would save even more room to destroy the bodies entirely. My preference is for either aquamation or human composting. Much greener than cremation. So you know they stack folks in the US. Right? Like you don't own that land forever. At some point they are opened, move down the bottom person, and add another. If there's limited activity most graves are given a 50-year span. Then Mimor gets a roommate. Edit not sure why I'm getting downvoted. I work in the death industry. Also this is Google Able stuff. Just dig a big hole and drop me in with the other corpses. Then plant a fig tree. Boom. Done. So people will no longer be laid to rest. They will be stood up even in death. Who still wants to be buried? Just put me in the oven and turn that shit up to eleven. Then scatter my ashes in the sea or under a tree. Can't stand the idea of being buried in a small coffin next to thousand of random people. We would save a lot of room if we cremated people, rather than bury them. Cremations are better. Throw the ashes to the wind. No one needs to save any bodies once people are dead. It's not like anyone ever looks at them again. Solve world hunger and the space issue with one simple solution. It's a massive pain in the ass to dig a hole narrow and deep. Cremation is even better if you really want to be a space conscious corpse. Each year, burials in the United States use 30 million board feet of wood. Each board foot is 12 inches by 12 inches by 1 inch, more than 104,000 tons of steel, 1.6 million tons of concrete for burial structures. Cremation, often considered the greener option, is not much better. Some estimate that one cremation uses about as much gas and electricity as a 500 mile road trip, and gives off around 250 pounds of carbon dioxide. We would save a lot more if we would stop using the common burial options. On a recent trip to New Orleans I learned that a modest-sized tomb would be able to hold hundreds of remains. The body would be placed inside and cook in the hot sun for a year. When they open it up all that remains are bones. They could fit many generations of families in one tomb. The inner walls served as shelves for the dead. It's the same volume either way. How we stack them is the issue. Regardless of the orientation, we should be stacking those bodies. Now to this one minuscule savings versus much more burial effort now to dig deeper holes. Yip. Choose one family member to straddle the hole and hold the corpse hands to keep it upright while the rest shovel in dirt. Coincidentally, this same trick was used to dramatically increase the capacity of hard drives in the early 2000s. Prior to that, the magnetic charges were embedded on the disk surface in a parallel orientation. Sounds like someone's trying to make it easier for the zombies to crawl out of their graves nice try. That is true, but it will not make sense. The main reason to bury people as opposed to let's say burning them is due to ritual reasons. The final resting place must be in a resting position. This means laying down as opposed to standing. We could also skip the burying part completely and hang dead people from high trees. We started in the fetal position, we should end in it to very efficient space-wise. I used to work in a cemetery, 
and was told if we buried people upright, everyone's head would end up in their pelvis. Shudder. Would save a lot more room if we made it illegal to bury the dead and just cremated everybody. It has to stop at some point. There won't be any land that isn't a cemetery. We'd save even more room if we just cremated everyone. Cemeteries are silly things. Ashes to ashes ain't you heard of cremation? Why bury our infected bodies for worms to mutate? You'd save even more space if everyone was thrown into the ocean to be eaten by bottom feeders. We could save even more space by not holding on to expired humans. We'd save more space if we cremated people and put them in jars urns are just fancy jars. Could save even more space by cremating everyone and spreading the ashes on the winds. You ever driven through western Kansas or Oklahoma? We ain't short on room. Maybe, but it's a lot easier to dig a hole that's longer than one that's just deeper, and once you get a few in there, digging the holes for the new ones around them without disturbing the ones that folks are standing in becomes a pitter. You'd almost have to develop a special tool like a post hole digger, but mechanical, and that would be expensive AF. I don't know it would be a pain in the ass to dig like a 12 foot deep 3 by 3 hole instead of a 6 foot deep like 6 by 3 hole. We'd save even more by turning everyone to ashes. Really no practical reason to keep their bodies around as long as possible. Or we could cremate them, mix ashes with planting soil and plant an oak tree with the mix. Tree will likely outlive anyone who would visit the grave. Graveyards as they exist are a terrible waste. Listening to the episode of Armchair Expert where they interviewed Neil deGrasse Tyson. He did the math and apparently if everyone choose to be buried, we'd take up the state of Pennsylvania and then we'd have the rest of the world for whatever else we wanna do. So not actually as much space required as one might think. Just plant trees as markers and designate all graveyards as national parks for 100 years. We got plenty of room. We ain't running out. Don't worry about it. I've always loved the sea, a nice Royal Navy style burial at sea. Twelve pound shot at my feet to take me die to Davy, sew me up in sailcloth with the last stitch through the nose just to be sure, then off the side and to my rest. Used to be really difficult to dig the kind of hole required for a vertical barrier. Nowadays though, an excavator could accomplish it easily with no danger. However, without the use of excavators, you run a high risk of loss of more life due to trench hole cave INS. As it stands, perpendicular graves are a lot safer and easier to dig. What if we just cremated everyone, unless they're like a cold case crime victim or something then we need their remains for sure LMAO. Space, yes. But also a hole at that orientation is orders of magnitude harder as soil typically becomes more dense very quickly below the surface, and that's setting aside that there may be undergrounded pipes lying sewers that are currently using the deeper space, that would then have to go around instead or maybe I'm full of shit, idk I'm not a civil engineer. Surface area would be less. Volume underground would be the same. God, imagine you're finally dead and can lay down a bit, but then there's not enough room so you gotta stand. Traditionally people had to be dug into the ground by hand, so it made sense to bury them horizontally. If you put them in a crypt, the kind that basically has slots in a wall, then horizontally works just fine. Personally, I want an organic burial with a tree on top. Mostly I just think it's stupid to preserve a corpse using toxic chemicals, and then waste a bunch of real estate with it. Trees at least serve a purpose. We'd save even more room if people got over their fascination with what happens to their mortal coil after they no longer need it. Just get cremated to save the space, or better yet, donate your body to science and do some actual good once you are gone. You can save even more room if you burn M, eat M, mush M, space M. What if we just burnt everyone? Like it's pretty useless to store people in boxes underground, also seems creepy to me. Or just cremating. You'd no longer be resting in peace RIP, but rather standing in peace s.i.p, 